So, uh, what we'll be discussing today is extraterrestrial real estate. As we have already discussed in the Outer Space Treaty, the OST as well as the International Moon Treaty of 1979 puts privatization of outer space into context. Now, these two conventions speak against privatization of any space in outer space, whether it be for military reasons or civilian reasons or any reasons thereof. So, you cannot claim sovereignty over any part of outer space by national claims or any other such claims. So, where there is a glaring discrepancy between the ratification numbers within the Outer Space Treaty and the International Moon Treaty, where the Outer Space Treaty has 104 current signatories, where the International Moon Treaty has a very, very dismal amount of signatories. Now, uh, with regards to this, there have been efforts to draft something known as Lunar Deeds or Martian Deeds, which seek to achieve privatization of outer space. The a classic example of this would be the Bogota Declaration, which was brought about by mainly the equatorial countries. Right. So, what they seek to achieve at that point of time was basically privatizing uh, the geosynchronous orbits or the geostationary orbits, uh, which are basically orbits uh, which lie along the circumferential periphery of the equator. Right. So, these are of primordial importance for telecommunications. And uh, you can check out the International Telecommunic Te Telecommunications Union, sorry for that, uh, for their reports regarding the same. Now, the Bogota Declaration, after the subsequent period of existence, was declared null and void due to uh, lack of international recognition or any uh, or lack of any basis of legal standing whatsoever. Thank you.